Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. We've got a great video planned for you. I think you're going to love it. We're going to talk about five things that I've learned from my trading program. Now, this trading program is designed to give us enter signals and exit signals for trades with cryptocurrency. And so if you've if you subscribe to my eToro channel um, and you're copy trading me on eToro, or if you're just curious about what my trading program is doing and how it works, this is the video for you. So hang on, we're going to dig into it. Now, the first thing is, is our YouTube channel is here to give you ideas to take profits and avoid losses. Smash the like button, the subscribe button, the bell button, and all. The reason you want to do this is because YouTube does not always I, uh, let you know about our new videos. And by smashing all those buttons and clicking the all button, your YouTube will let you know about all of our videos as soon as they go live because some of our videos are time sensitive and you want to be able to take action as soon as possible when we release those time sensitive videos. And so be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, but the bell button and all, and that'll make sure that you stay notified of all of our uh, new videos. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion. My background is in computer programs. We're going to talk about a trading program I've written for cryptocurrency. And as always, cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. So take, the, take a look at this paragraph right here. This paragraph is excellent advice for any investment, but especially cryptocurrency. Now, the five things that I've learned from my trading program this year is it was right and I was wrong. We're going to take a look at what happened there. And I am trying to get the right little cursor. This is, oops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, anyway, we'll just get rid of that. So number two. Uh, the trading program waits for confirmation both to enter and exit trades. The trading program number three leans towards the middle of the road. We're going to take a look at the trading program statistics. And number five, the trading program confirms a decades old stock trader saying called the trend is your friend until the end. And so we're going to take a look at how our trading program has confirmed that uh, phrase, that old time saying, uh, the trend is your friend until the end. So let's get into it. Now I want to take you back in time to March 1st of 2020. Now it seems like it was forever ago, March 1st, because on March 1st, we didn't have any kind of uh, illnesses. We didn't have uh, cities locking down. We didn't have businesses closing. Nobody wore masks back then. And so I want you to kind of step back in time to think about what things were like at that particular time, because what I'm about to say makes sense from that context. So on March 1st, my algorithm was chugging along and doing really well. In fact, back here on February 13th, uh, my algorithm in, in just a month and a half, this was this was spectacular. I was so excited. In a month and a half, the algorithm had tripled our portfolio. We had gone up 300% in about six weeks. That was amazing. And I was really excited about that. And so here uh, on March, uh, through, through this period of time, the, the trading program started saying exit, 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 all these different cryptocurrencies. And so I got out of them. And then it continued to say exit a bunch of different cryptocurrencies right up to here on March 9th. My algorithm went and said, get out of everything. It, it wanted me to exit all of my trades on that date. And I took a look at what was going on. And this is when we really had the first inkling that this, that this sickness was going to be uh, worldwide and would have a significant impact. It was the first weekend when we had any kind of clue that they might even do some sort of a lockdown, that people might have to wear masks, that we might shut down businesses, 
Prior to that, we had no clue to it. And I thought at that particular moment in time, oh, this is, this is, this is not going to happen. This isn't going to be a big deal. This is just going to blow over and things are going to go back to normal. My algorithm's overreacting because people are overreacting and this is going to change in a couple of days. I don't want to exit these trades because then I have to get back into them and yada, yada, yada. It was a mistake. Wow, can I tell you. So right here, we see the pandemic hits, businesses locked down, and the stock market as well as the cryptocurrency market takes a huge tumble. I mean, it goes from a high of, of right around $10,000 and drops all the way down to below $4,000. Touches $4,000 and it ended up around $3,800. Now, I had, I had gotten up to 300% in six weeks and in a matter of a couple of days, it went right back to where we were on January 1. We lost all of those gains and we were back to where we started. I was, I was disappointed to say the least, but I learned a really important lesson. The trend is your friend until the end. My algorithm confirmed it. I'm kind of jumping ahead because that was 0.5. Um, but my algorithm saw it in advance and I was really amazed at how we started to get out of a bunch of different cryptocurrencies as things got worse and worse. But the other cryptocurrencies, the exit signals from the algorithm was leading up to the exit signals for Bitcoin and Ethereum and some of the bigger ones. And so I noticed, I started learning that, hey, my algorithm is showing me what's going to happen in the near future by what's happening with some of the altcoins. And as the altcoins started, we started getting exit signals, we're starting to go, oh, this is interesting stuff. So the next thing that we notice, notice is that the uh, trading program waits for confirmation both to enter and exit trades. And so if you look at this chart here, you can see here we have a signal to enter and here we have a signal to exit. Now what you're looking at here is this is Bitcoin and it's Bitcoin as of December 2017 when Bitcoin hit that all-time high of 19,500 back in the middle of December of 2017. And this what were this particular orange line is the 50 period simple moving average. Now my algorithm my trading program is a lot more complex. It's not it's not using the 50-period the 50, 50 moving average, a simple moving average. It uses a lot more indicators than just that one in order to make decisions. But this gives us a good example. You can see that there needed to be a certain amount of confirmation before it entered and a certain amount of confirmation in order for it to exit. And so here you had some confirmation before we entered a trade. Here we had confirmation when it exited the trade. Um, and the confirmation for exiting is all of this, all of this down sloping stuff. And the confirmation for entering the trade was this beginning upslope right in here. Um, and, and the algorithm does the same basic thing. It looks for evidence. It looks to prove, hey, we have an upward trend or we have a downward trend before it makes either an entry or an exit signal. Um, but it bases it off of complex math, mind-bending math, and what's happening with the price action. And it uses several different things in order to measure and give those indicators. We've spent thousands of hours trying to fine-tune them, and that's a process that we'll just continue doing because markets change. And as a market changes, the algorithm has to be updated in order to match the current trends of the current market. And so over time, the algorithm is going to be tweaked to work better with the current market conditions. So uh, all of that leads to the kind of profit that we were getting, especially where we got 300% profit in a matter of six weeks. Now, the algorithm hasn't duplicated that performance yet, but I think with, the coming, with what's coming in 2021, I have high expectations for seeing similar uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just hoping and believing that we're going to see some similar gains in very short periods of time in the next year. 
So the algorithm has a tendency to lean towards the middle of the road. So what, what I mean by that is instead of entering really early, it has a tendency to wait a little bit and get more confirmation before entering a trade. And then with trades, there's some, some aspects of the algorithm where it lags it a little bit early and there's other times where it will give it more time. And a lot of that has to do with how long we've been in a trade. Uh, if we've been in a trade a very short period of time, the algorithm is more forgiving. If we've been in a trade for a longer period of time, the algorithm begins to get stricter and stricter and stricter, um, expecting that, look, you, we've given you time. You should be showing a profit or a loss. If you're going sideways, we want to get out of you. And so the algorithm will lean towards getting out of, of, uh, of cryptos if they have a tendency to go sideways, but keeping us in trades that are trending uh, strongly in our favor. Now, if the trade trends strongly against us, of course, it's going to get us out of that trade. But that's what I mean by the, the algorithm, the trading program. I keep calling it an algorithm because that's what I've called it for a long time, but I think trading program makes more sense to people. Um, and so the trading program leans towards more the middle of the road. Well, let's take a look at some statistics from the trading program. Now, recently I have built a website and in that website, you're gonna be able to see on the About Us page, up here on the About Us page, you're gonna be able to read about some of the different statistics from our algorithm. Now, the trading program has an average gain of around 40%, 40% uh, or more with top trades reaching 98% or more uh, in terms of a gain. And it does those gains in an average of about 30 days. And so in 30 days, we can see a single trade producing a 98% of gain. And our average trade, when we include winners and losers, somewhere around 40%. Now the trading program wins an average of 55 or more percent of the trades it enters. Um, and that's all of this is based off of historical data. Some of it from actual use and some of it is from uh, backtesting, the thousands and thousands of hours of backtesting that we've done. On average, the trading program will buy and hold a trade for 30 days. And so most of the time we'll enter trade and then we'll be out of it in 30 days. Now that's not 100% of the time. Sometimes it'll exit a trade within one or two days. Sometimes it'll wait for 150 days to exit a trade. But when you add up all the different trades together, it comes out to an average of around 30 days or so. We run the trading program once a day. So this is important because a lot of people think in terms of trading as being a day trader. Uh, this algorithm was not designed for that. I have a full-time job. The, 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 pro, the trading program is something I do on, in my spare time. And so when I wrote the trading program, it had to be something that I didn't have to I didn't have to drop everything all the time and rush and do trades um, in order to maintain things. I needed to be able to just get signals once per day. And so that's how the algorithm started. And then we fine tuned it from there. And by fine tuning it, that we ended up finding that uh, the best holding period does give us an average of 30 days. Now keep in mind, as I mentioned already, uh, sometimes it'll have us in a trade for one or two days. Sometimes we'll be in there for 150 or more days or less than 150 days. Um, and so, you know, it, it, it can be in a trade for, for several months, um, but a lot of times it's in, in and out pretty quickly. And we started trading the algorithm. We started trading using the trading program on eToro in the very first full month. So we were in for two weeks in October of 2020. We started with eToro, I think it was October 17th or something like that. And so we were really only on eToro for two weeks of October and we had a small loss. And then in November, uh, it had a pretty nice gain of 49%. Now think about that for a second. Think about that for a second. 49% in one month. I don't know of very many opportunities that you have where you can 
get 50% of your money back in 30 days. But that's what the algorithm did on eToro in November of 2020. And one of the reasons why I chose to use eToro to do copy trading is because it gives us a public, unchangeable record. I can't change that record. And so um, eToro manages that data, manages those records, and it gives you some way of having verifiable proof that the algorithm is and has been profitable. Now, one of the things that you definitely need to keep in mind, past performance is not indicative of future results. In other words, something catastrophic could happen that tanks the cryptocurrency market and therefore tanks the results of the algorithm. On the flip side of the coin, something could happen that causes cryptocurrency to go to the moon and absolutely smash it. Um, but I, I do want to give you this disclaimer that past performance does not always uh, uh, predict or perfect or indicate uh, what the future results will be. So we've worked very, very hard to make this thing as solid as we possibly could. But, you know, when it comes to cryptocurrencies, there's lots of outside forces from governments to all kinds of other actors that can affect the whole thing. Now, if you want to follow us on eToro, just go to eToro.com slash people, Lumen8 Algo Trader, and you'll be able to follow us and you can also copy trade us from there if you choose to copy trade us. Um, I wanted to show you this chart also. This is looking at the previous bull runs for cryptocurrency. Now, this blue line is the halvings. And every time a halving happens, it means that the miners get half as much new cryptocurrency every time they mine a new block into the blockchain, which means that there's less and less and less brand new cryptocurrency actually created. And you can see from this chart, every time that we have had a halving, that cryptocurrency has absolutely gone ballistic. As soon as they cut the new supply of cryptocurrency by 50%, the new supply of Bitcoin by 50%, the price of Bitcoin within the next, you know, over about a year and a half to 24 months went up somewhere around 100x. And so if you start over in this corner at the absolute bottom and go all the way up here to the top, and let me see if I can stretch that out. So the bottom corner is right around there and then the top is right there. That is a 100x return on your money with Bitcoin. And then the very same thing happened over here. I got to stretch this out just a little bit more. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to stretch this one right in here is where it hit its bottom all the way up to here where it hit its top. That also is a 100x change. You can see it went from about $180 at this point all the way up to $19,500 at this point up here. And so every time we've had a halving, Bitcoin has responded with a bull run that has ended up from the low all the way to the high of about 100x gain. Now we just had another halving, which is that blue line right here. And we can see if you look at the performance overall from this low here, in fact, I think that's the lowest. That's pretty much the lowest. There's this low over here is pretty close to this low, both of which are around $3,800, $4,000 for a single Bitcoin. Uh, if we have another 100x, uh, as we have had previously, uh, Bitcoin will go to $400,000, and that could happen as early as December of 2021. Um, but because of the market conditions that we have today, uh, it's hard to say what really will happen. It could go uh, much more ballistic than what it did in the previous times. And the reason why it could go more ballistic is now we have a lot more institutional money getting involved in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So if you do go to eToro 
and you decide you're, you're interested in following me, you're gonna see a page just like this, and over in this corner will be a button if you wanna copy me. Um, and on this page, you'll also find the statistics of what my algorithm has done, and, it'll, and it's updated almost on a daily basis. Every day you'll see what, what my previous months were and then what the current months, the current month is always this, this column right here and what the trading program has actually accomplished in terms of profit or losses. Because you can see in the two weeks we were in October, we actually had a small loss of around 6.7%. Um, but we more than made up for that with the 49% gain in November. So, the trading program runs on mind-numbing bath, and the trading program runs through thousands of mathematical calculations for every recommendation it makes. Um, now, eToro has set up a $50, $50 limited offer bonus, and how that works is 10 people will be able to get $50 by signing up for eToro. And so if you use this link, HTTPS, eToro.tw, 2SDIOMS, uh, you'll be able to go to that webpage and become an eToro customer and by depositing $200 or more and then using that $200 to follow me as a trader, as a copy trader, eToro will reward you with an additional 50 bucks just for copying my trades on eToro. Now this is limited to the first 10 people. As of right now, this is still available. Today is January 1, 2021. And so depending on when you're watching this video, you may still be able to do it. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can contact me. Just go to eToro.com, People, Luminate, Algo Trader, and that will help you uh, communicate with me so we can let you know whether or not that's still available. In conclusion, how can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions? Do you have any thoughts? Do you have any comments? Leave them in the comments section on the YouTube channel. In the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and huddle. And do me a favor, have a fantastic day.